1220 Church Road. This is actually a nice neighborhood. That's actually a church right across the street. Nice car port. The roof looks, looks well, the shingles look like they're in pretty good shape. Here, roses at the end. The door is pretty nice as well. Looks like that was recently replaced. All right, so we're in. This is the living room. All right, now the kitchen is in the front of the house. We have vinyl tile floors, which is a little on the cheaper side. And the kitchen is. It's pretty big. I'm gonna check out the bedrooms first. Here we have uh, upstairs. It's like central AC. I mean. Top. Looks like something. What's going on here? But um, looks pretty good. And big pieces of uh, carpet here. Now it's the bathroom up here. Shower. The ceiling is pretty low right here. So I have to walk all the way through. I'll kind of stand in the middle so you, so you won't bump your head in the bathroom. Oh, and these stairs are pretty steep. Alright, then we have the hall. That's pretty good. And to the right. We have the uh, bedroom here. Size. 
Fit in all or floors. You can kind of see the backyard and lounge area there. Walk back a little further. We have another bit in here. Wood floors. All the rooms have pretty nice sized closets. There's also uh, a window. You see the patio or the back lounge area. Here we have another decent sized closet with some AC ducts running upstairs. Well, it smells like a linen closet actually. We have the first floor bathroom. And these are ceramic uh, tiles. That covers the entire bathroom. You switch it up on the floor, two different colors. And the ceiling is uh, red with drywall. This is the last bedroom. This seems like a smaller room out of all of them. Another nice size closet. Maybe we could uh, check out the basement in here. So we have a closet here. This door is the entrance into the house from the carport, which we'll see in a couple minutes. Here's the basement. Now the basement is pretty low. This couple puddles of water, that's the laundry. Now, the basement is pretty low. I'm 5'9", and I can't stand straight up without bumping my head. It says in the uh, report that it's about 5'8", uh, the height of the basement, 5 foot 8 inches. And there's also puddles of water down there. Um, we got some heavy rain. We're going to go see if we can figure what that's all about. Right, we're going to walk, take a uh, quick walk around the back. The carport. The carport seems big enough to fit two uh, vehicles. Um, 
one in front of the other. Now you could kind of see the property line, the greener grass, the shorter grass, or the taller grass, shorter grass. See the property line and I'll walk it back. Um, here, this could be a lounge area or you can even park, uh, you know, extra vehicles or back here as well. That's bedroom one, bedroom two, bedroom three. It's like a small room with a uh, sink. This is a bathroom. Mm. Interesting. So from the looks of it, there's a lot of uh, small cracks that should be mortared. So that's probably some of the water problem. And then here, we have a, a pond, plants, trees, bushes. back pretty far. Goes back there pretty far. Those are neighbors. More plants. 